I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Everest Umba. Today we're going to learn about how you can use your weapons to stand and to win. I'm not talking about AK-47, bazooka, revolver, but I'm talking about godly weapons that you have in your hands that you can use. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3, Bible says, For thought we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. And verse 4 to 5, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every eye things that exalt itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So your most powerful tool is speak or pray through the word of God. Therefore, read it, meditate it. It's throughout the day. Memorize it, eat and shake it, repeat it, live it. Let your mouth be full with the scriptures. Are you afraid of gangs or someone when you are walking in in the righteousness but you're afraid speak or pray isaiah 54 verse 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment that shall condemn it this is the heritage of the servant of the lord and their righteousness is of me say the lord do you have no food you have no one do you have no funds? Speak or pray. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus Christ. Are you abused or rejected or praise? Speak or pray. Psalm chapter 18 verse 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I will trust. My backer and the walls of my salvation and my high tower are you sick or someone is sick even with addiction illness or hiv or any form of sickness speak or pray isaiah 53 verse 5 but he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquity the sustenance of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed are you looking for a job or a land or a promotion or a new adventure or a leadership position speak or pray Psalm chapter 2 verse 8 ask of me and i will give i shall give thee the earth and for thy inheritance and the ultimate part of the earth for thy possession is your family unsafe speak or pray Acts chapter 16 verse 31 and they say believe on the lord jesus christ and that shall be saved and uh, they, with that household are you or your community members community are homeless is anyone is homeless speak or pray psalm chapter 61 verse 3 to 4 for that has been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy and i will abide in the tabernacle forever and i will trust in the cover of Thy wings, Selah. Do you feel like the whole world is turned up against you and you are hopeless? Speak and pray. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, who the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatever I have said unto you. Are you trusting God for souls to get saved and others? Speak and pray that He open your eyes. John chapter 4, verse 25. Say not ye that they are not yet four months. Then come of others. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the field, for they are white already to others. Do you don't have a father? 
Matthew chapter 6. Our Father who we are in heaven. You have a Father from above. May the Lord bless you all for just listening to our talk today. It's, it's talking about the weapons that you have in your hands. God bless you all and have a blessed day so far.